sounded a little bit more complicated than it really is. And even more simplistic, once you see the actual dam working and the overflow actually displacing water, you, you see how passive it is and you realise there's no chance we could ever cause any erosion doing this. Here we are on the driveway, which at the moment is the only catchment, main catchment for the dam we're building. And the driveway is compacted and it's hard. Although it's gravel, it's still hardware. And the water's not accurately directed. It's actually vaguely directed off to one side. And what we intend to do is grade the driveway over so that it tilts into the inside of the bend and then right the way through hold that water in control and let it go just at the end of the carport there so that it directs down the slope through the fruit trees and into the dam. So that way we're going to get all the water from this driveway. Now the thing about driveways is, and all hardware, hard services, is when there's a small rain they get 100% runoff. So you get directed accumulated rainfall off the hardware to your catchment, to your dam. The landscape doesn't do that. When you have light rain, particularly after a dry period, it all soaks in and none of it runs across the landscape. But hardware runs because it's non-pervious. It's impervious, shall I say. So the so it's, they're great collecting services to actually soak water into the landscape in specific places and store water in impoundments like the dam we're building. And that's what we'll do. We'll concentrate that water by design. Now because we thought we were going higher, the back cut is above waterline. And that doesn't look nice when the dam's finished. So we're getting the driver to cut a ledge along the back of the dam, which is just 100 mil below water. And we're going to backfill it with some of our spare topsoil. So there'll be a beautiful, fertile, deep topsoil ledge 